Say you may have a new tile backsplash or an old one and you have the question, do I need to seal it? Well, we'll talk about that right after I roll tile. Now we got that done, the question is, do we need to do this? Well, I can't answer that question because I don't know your particular situation. So we're going to have to go back to some beginning and some basis, which is why some of this is out because we just put this in and we're going to break up some tile work video into different shows so that you don't have to sit through very long with. I happen to be one of those people, my goal isn't to show you how to do as much as it is as how to think and what to consider if you're new to it. So they're really geared toward the beginners. It might be for some refresher for some. It, there's a lot of content that I put out. It's just simply not available because people won't talk about it. They may think it's, I don't know, a secret or something. It's really not a secret. You can do this stuff if you're a home owner. You can do this stuff yourself. Anything just about that I do. Some of it's more advanced, but most of it you can do if you just know some of the answers. And a lot of times it's, you don't have the questions because you don't know what to ask because you've never done it. You've never experienced it. So today the question is, do we need to seal this? Well, the first part is, have, we're going to bring in a term or we're going to talk about the, the hydroscopy of the material, the tile, the grout, the whatever we may have. And that is a measurement of how much water they absorb. Because if they'll absorb water, they may absorb juices and other things. And if they absorb water, they may actually go damage the back, back side of it. This MAPE type one adhesive that we use to glue these on the wall, this is not for a wet environment. And obviously you don't want stuff seeping back in there, getting in and maybe, maybe gets in one tile and goes back and, and affects your, your wall board. Now this, all this behind this is all purple board. It's all water board, so it's not going to mildew, but it still gets wet. If, the, if it gets wet and the paper comes off, the tile's coming off. The glue can lose its, its adhesiveness. You don't want that. So the question is, what is this all about? Well, let's first, here, here's a sealer. It, they're commonly available, a couple of bucks for, a, for uh, a little jug that will do quite a bit. I think that's a quart, something like that. Now we have our tile. As you can see, our tile is porous. Okay, it's a particular type. We'll investigate that in a little bit, but let's look at the grout because we have the question come up. Do, do professional tile sets on a residential install, do they, do they seal? And the answer is no. It would be a rarity for you to have a tile set seal the grout because they have to come back days later after it's set to do so. The same reason when I had a crew come in and put these countertops in is these are granite. They need sealing. Did they, did they seal it? No, they didn't see it. Now they could have after they got done, but it does have a joint in here. We probably want everything to fully cure anyway. And they don't want to do it because it's time and money. Why spend that time and money if you can do it yourself, right? So it just typically doesn't get done. But does it need to get done? Well, we know about granite. If we don't seal granite because it's a natural material, it does need to be sealed. That's why we like the, the acrylics, the, the solid surface, although some of those things will stain the, uh, um, the, the quartz, which are a man-made product using, believe it or not, ground up rock. They, they, they're a little bit better about staining, but just about anything can stain at some point in time. And a, and a, a sealer can help that. So first question is, does the grout need sealing? And now if we look at our, our uh, mud here, we look at our grout, I'll put a picture up. It says right on the container, no sealing required. And we also want to look at the, read the box, read the bag of the box or whatever, and decide whether or not it's appropriate for the type of tile you're using. Just like we would look at the adhesive to make sure that uh, it is the appropriate stuff for your task. Do that. Re spend a little bit of time reading. No one has to know that this is your first time you're going to do something, but we have to check it out. Now, this adhesive is not rated for a wet environment, which is a fairly important thing to know. Now behind this wall, you can't see because it's already finished. It's purple board or it's, it's water board. We put them in kitchens and showers and that type of areas, bathrooms, places where they're gonna get wet because they don't wanna be, they don't wanna take mildew and they should have a little bit more resistance, but they will get wet and they do come apart just like anything else. Go to, go to a flooded house, the kitchens fall apart and the bathrooms fall apart just like any other part of the house. So we don't want water to get through our grout lines back to attack our paper or our bond between our adhesive and our tiles and we don't want stuff falling off hey appreciate you watching do me a favor if you will subscribe to the channel either the youtube or the rumble channel which this appears in and if you can check the notification bell or settings to make sure that you get notified when new videos are posted appreciate it
So it's a particular vulnerable spot right behind the faucets where we tend to get splashing and things like that. Do we need a seal? Well, we talked a little bit about the grout. Next thing we're going to do is talk about the tile. Have you ever heard the term vitreous china? Well, if you've ever read the specs for, say, a bog, a toilet, an oreador, or whatever, a bidet, a, uh, a lav sink, a china sink, they will almost always, every one of those things will be vitreous china if they're made from clay. And what vitreous means is it means it's not very hygroscopic. It doesn't absorb water, which would be a bad thing if you had those type of devices, right? Because they're wet all the time. Well, the question is, what about the tile that you select? What are your, what tiles you use, what are they rated for? Now I used this inexpensive subway tile. We'll talk about tile more later when we, when we get into another video, but the tile itself is not vitreous china. It's not a vitreous tile. And if you look on the websites, most places won't actually use that term. You'll have to dig to find it. What they'll tell you is, yes, you can use it in kitchens and bathrooms, blah, blah, blah. They may or may not tell you it's not suitable for a floor. Well, there's some various things that go in it. Some of that is the thickness of the tile, one that's good for floors. But if it's a floor, it's probably going to have to be weight bearing and it needs to be vitreous or impervious because we don't want water to get through it to our subfloor because water goes down. It'll sheet off this and maybe it won't be wet for very long, but it'll go through there. Now, I'll put a picture up on this box that this is a, a, a Lowe's product. Uh, it's pretty well much a commodity. Subway tiles, three by six subway tiles are pretty well much a commodity, but they're not all the same. And when you look, find, you'll eventually find in one tiny little spot, non-vitreous, it's a non-vitreous product, which means it does absorb water at a rate of seven, of greater than 7% of water, which means, yeah, stuff can get back through this if it's a wet, steamy, damp environment. Do you have to seal it? How often do you have it at your home? It's your investment. You do what you want. I sealed this because I know it's a non-vitreous tile. It's suitable for kitchens and walls, but that doesn't mean that it's suitable without being sealed. And yet, the information when you read your tiles won't really tell you, for the most part, whether it needs sealing or not. So that's, that's an answer that you have there. I think it's probably good enough for this video. There's not much more to sealing other than reading the instructions on the back of your sealer, making sure it's suitable for, like say, a kitchen or environment like that. This seals for 20 years and then basically it's inert after that, I think, after it dries and seals. You might wonder again, do people professional tile set seal tile? No, not normally. They have to wait for the grout to dry and then come back. And if they're doing that, you're probably holding up that paycheck. So they install it, may tell you something about it, and then they're just gone. So. It's up to you if you want to seal your backsplash. I don't like doing this stuff, so I personally would take the time. It doesn't take much. You just rub, rub it in, like the instruction says, and let it soak and dry, and you're done. The grout, remember, it said it didn't need it. Didn't say it would hurt it to do it again, but it's the tile we're sealing in this. Why? Because it is non-vitreous. Now you can look that up. I can attack something on the end. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But the tile itself may not hold water out. That's why if you're doing a shower bottom, a lot of time you'll find the mosaics. That's where they belong. Not just aesthetically because they're ugly on a back wall or on one of the walls and there's a lot of grout to be doing. That's a lot of extra work. Every one of those tiles has to be cleaned and scrubbed and gone through and cleaned up those lines. You can do that if you want. But the best place for mosaics a lot of time is on the bottom floor of a shower where you're needing to get a little bit of shape and you'd have to do a lot of extra cutting on, on a larger tile to do that. So it's, they're good for that purpose. But again, you'd want to look at the tile to see that they're, that they're impervious or maybe they might use the word impregnable. They may also just use the word vitreous. You certainly need vitreous or better less water absorbing for that. Even if you put the member, you, you do a roll on membrane under your shower to put it on there under your grout, you still want your tile itself to not allow water again. And every grout line is an opportunity for water to get in, which is why we seal it. So I hope that helps and we'll go on to the next video from here. Appreciate you watching and subscribe if, you, if this interests you. If you'd rather see more of some of the, the, the individual techniques, we can do those too. But a lot of these videos is just telling you something before you pick the tile 
will determine what you have to do to your backsplash. Mm -hmm.